This is the video review for Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Scattershot. And as you can see, he's um, kind of vaguely Sentinel Primish. He's a blue kind of pickup truck uh, with a snow plow armored barrier cade thing on the front. Door buster, rammer. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Battering ram type thing. And he also has these guns up here that can rotate, spin around, all that good stuff. I think they have a different angle of attack and they rotate. Um, and other than that, that's about all there is to his vehicle mode. Um, the vehicle mode on this guy isn't too, too bad. Um, I think some of the proportions are a little off, but, um, like, I mean, like, I would imagine to see this sitting a little closer up to the front of the car rather than sticking out quite so far, but whatever. Actually, you know what? Yeah, if this moved up and kind of sat a little more up here, actually, I think that might solve all my issues with vehicle mode. Uh, it's kind of a moot point because we're about to get to his robot mode, but... I do think the vehicle would look a little better if this was a little shorter and moved up. That would kind of negate his feet here, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So to transform him, you want to grab the front part of the cab, bring it down. Uh, you can see his legs. And if you want, you can go ahead and take these pieces, rotate them up. You can see those pieces now become his feet. Uh, the the uh, battering ram plow bit kind of becomes his knee guards. Has lower thighs. So anyway, bring his legs up like that. Uh, then take these pieces, split the arms here. You want to rotate the, uh, the forearms out um, this way. Here we go. Bring these pieces out like this, and fold these brown pieces up here out and down right here. And then you basically come around here and take the whole back of the truck and rotate it back. And then you want to bring this up flip it all the way, oh, actually I want to bring this, this up and flip it all the way up and over. Uh, well, you should do into that first, okay. Like that, there, there's a little tab here that you're going to see is going to fit into a slot here on the back. Uh, and that'll lock those in place. And then snap the arms, tab them onto the, the sides there, and bring his arms around, uh, fold these panels up and in, uh, rotate the guns and flip his hands out so the gun's little handle fits in his hand. I'll try to do the other arm a little better. I'll bring, yeah, bring the arm down. Uh, rotate it there at the ball joint. Um, his hand was folded in for vehicle mode. You want to flip that out. And then um, put the gun in his hand. And here you have robot mode, which is really... Um, he's not quite as a giant pile of, of just stupid worthlessness that uh, Jolt from the uh, Classics Hotshot mold was but um not a whole, not really anything to like here with the robot mode um he's got this giant upper body um his limbs are way too skinny his face looks it looks like he's supposed to have a breather on but he really just looks like a retarded monkey um i don't know why and he's packaged in robot mode he's packaged in this crappy mode and i still bought him i don't know what was up with that um and didn't buy um an Iron Man 2 War Machine because I decided, no, I'll buy Scattershot and review him. He looks like he might be okay. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Um, about the only thing I like about him is this dark gray color on the plastic. On his legs and his chest and, and the plow bit. Um, I really wish they'd use this color of plastic on Scattershot instead of like the kind of ashy tan plastic they used for his legs and feet and all that stuff. I would have loved to have seen, I think this dark grayish silver would have gone a lot better with the black than that weird tan color they did. It would have looked more like the promo shots. Um, but again, that's something I would have liked to see on Scattershot. This guy is not worth your seven bucks. Um, as I said, before, as I've said in several, and the, the guns don't come off. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. Oh, well. If you wanted to risk breaking your toy um, and losing part of the uh, toy, that, there it is. Um, you can pop that off. Um, okay, so that makes him a little less pile of sucky, but 
Um, no. No, he still kind of sucks. Um, so you can take the guns off. Um, but basically, like, if, if you've read any forum I frequent, I've pretty much referred to this guy as somebody took a retarded howler monkey, um, crossed it with a Ford F-150 and stapled some guns to his forearms, and I stand by that assessment. Um, I could have had a war machine. That's all I think about when I see this guy. I could have had a war machine. So you know what? I'm not gonna... Duh. I can't, I, there's not a whole lot I can even really say. Like I said, the vehicle mode, if they did some minor changes to his, uh, the front end of the vehicle mode, I think the vehicle mode would be decent. Um, the robot mode, I'm just not loving at all. And, um, yeah. Yeah, there you go. RTF scattershot, not worth your $7. Um, by War Machine.